This video covers the installation and configuration of the IQ3G USA cellular cartridge in an ESP LXMEF controller. This bundle includes the cellular cartridge, a pre-installed SIM card that is activated with an IP address, and an internal antenna for use with the LXME standard plastic case. The internal cellular antenna has a peel and stick adhesive. Remove the adhesive backing. Next, remove the module in the zero module slot and place the antenna on the sidewall in a vertical orientation. This keeps the antenna in line with the orientation of the antennas on the cellular tower. Route the antenna's coax cable behind the ribbon cable. Next, reinstall the module in the zero module slot. Remove the cover from the communication cartridge bay and expose the board edge connector that the cartridge will connect to. The antenna has an SMA connector that push fits into a mating connector on the cartridge. Be sure it snaps on. Next, connect the ribbon cable of the cartridge to the edge connector of the front panel. Put the feet in the slots and snap the cartridge down. Finally, route the coax cable through the channel and the installation is complete. Next, we will configure the cartridge. Turn to ETM IQ settings. You'll see a setup wizard. Press next. Choose what type of satellite you want to configure it as, direct, server, or client. Let's choose direct. It's going to configure this for address number one, which is the default. Choose the cellular or GPRS communication option. Now, go back to the menu, select status, and check the IQ communication port status. It should indicate idle, which means it's connected to the cellular tower and network, and it's ready for a call from IQ. We can check the signal strength by pressing the signal button. It will disconnect from the network in order to check this. Press next. In this case, it indicates that I have a very bad server signal, a one out of 10 signal strength. Now to correct this, I can try relocating the controller, use an extension to mount the antenna outside the building, or use a cellular booster to boost the signal. An optional external antenna is offered for use with metal cases like the Rainbird LXMM Metal Case Series controller cabinets for the LX controllers. There is a knockout located at the top right of the controller. You would knock this out and then drill a corresponding hole using the starter notch on the metal pedestal. The external antenna would slide through the hole and the knockout and connect at the bottom with a nut. This gets the cellular antenna outside the metal enclosure for the best signal strength. Be sure to visit rainbird.com slash ESPLX series for product manuals and FAQs. You can also call us for free professional support for programming and troubleshooting.